Many of you guys have probably heard the sad news that we lost our wonderful, amazing, great grandma Jeannie this last month. You know, I had this really, really special experience of being with her and that in the last year of her life, she came to live at our house and we were so blessed by having her around. She was such an amazing woman, such a sweet woman. And at 92 years old, she was a very adventurous, spry person who just loved life. And I just loved getting to be with her. I love getting to see how she lived her life and how she handled situations. And I learned so much from her. Grandma Jeannie just had this amazing spirit about her, but she lived through a lot of really, really challenging and hard times. She was born during the Great Depression. She kind of came into adulthood and young adulthood right as World War II was really kicking off and um, watched a lot of people leave and go to war and come back not the same as when they left, if they came back at all. In that time when she got married, she lost two children at young, a young age and she lost a husband very early on. Later, she wanted to lose another husband after she had remarried, and yet she still had the most joyful, amazing presence about her that just was so hopeful always in love with life, even though she'd gone through so many hard things in her life. And I just felt like I was so blessed to be able to watch her and watch her respond to different experiences in this last year of her life. So I wanted to share with you guys some of the top lessons that I learned from Great Grandma Jeannie. Lesson number one, always stay in the action. Don't ever let yourself feel sidelined and make sure you're always jumping in with whatever exciting thing is going on around you. Make sure you're always in the middle of it and you're always excited and having a good time. Lesson number two, dance, sing, and laugh whenever you can find the chance to do it and with whoever will possibly engage with you. Even at 92 years old, Grandma Jeannie would come into the kitchen and grab a child and start dancing to any music that was in there. She would be jigging in the kitchen even when she had to use a cane to walk around. It kept her young, it kept her happy, and it kept her laughing. <laughs> Lesson number three that I learned from Grandma Jeannie is to always call everyone your good friend. <laughs> Anybody that you know or that you've discussed life with or had a conversation with can be your good friend. And when you look at people that way, you just develop a, a great attitude about the people around you. Hi, you wanna sit down? <laughs> you don't even have to know somebody's last name in order for them to be a great friend or a good friend. Sometimes, maybe when you get to 92, maybe you don't even remember their first name, but that's okay. They can still be a great friend. <laughs> Lesson number four, always try to look your best. It doesn't matter if you're just hanging out around the house or you're going to town, and it certainly doesn't matter if you feel like you're starting to age always put on jewelry, always put on makeup, and dress your best because you'll feel great about yourself and you'll enjoy what you're doing. Grandma Jeannie was amazing for always being classy and dressed and she loved her jewelry. <laughs> Lesson number five, make sure that you are always trying new things and don't let your age be an excuse for not doing something new. It doesn't matter what it is, whether it's skydiving when you're 65, like Grandma Jeannie did, or whether it's going for a bike ride at 92 when you haven't done it in a couple of decades, always try something new. It keeps you fresh, it keeps you engaged, and it keeps you looking forward to the next adventure in life. Lesson number six that I learned from Grandma Jeannie is to take time to stay in touch with old friends, family members, even people that you just happened to meet. And just because they were a receptionist, 
in your doctor's office does not mean they can't be your best friend and that you shouldn't call them every so often. Make sure that you take time to pick up the phone and have a good old fashioned long chat with somebody that maybe you haven't talked to for a few years and you just take the time to connect. It'll make them feel special It'll make you feel special and you'll stay connected to a lot of people around you. And number seven, make sure that you always keep Jesus in the middle of everything. He is the reason for our hope and he can keep that smile on your face and that joy in your heart even when life gets incredibly hard even when you're ill, even when you're injured, even when things around you are going very badly. He is the reason for the joy and just make sure to keep him in the center of everything. Hey, you guys, if you haven't had a chance to check out this amazing interview we got to do with Grandma Jeannie a few years back, then please go over, take a peek. And I know she meant a lot to a lot of you guys too. If she did, go ahead and leave a comment below and just tell us the ways that Grandma Jeannie, even the video of Grandma Jeannie affected your life. It would mean a lot to us and a lot of other family members. Take care, you guys.